Hey there everybody, this is Tony Porter and this is a quick uh, video to explain the splits in deep drive baseball. Now you have a pitcher, Daryl Knowles, and you have a batter, Rick Miller. When that lefty is circled in Rick, on Rick Miller's card on the upper left-hand corner, that means he shouldn't be hitting against a lefty specialist or a lefty at all. So if, if you're a defensive manager and Rick Miller's up, I would bring in a lefty to force the opposing manager to pinch hit for Rick Miller. So that's that's usually what happens. So, um, and of course, in modern language, it would be, um, or modern terms, it would be guys like uh, Bryce Harper or uh, Juan Soto or Freddie Freeman, um, who you would bring your lefty specialist. Now, Daryl Knowles isn't a lefty specialist. He's just a lefty, but he does get the advantage. The advantage when it's a lefty is this easy or this simple. When the role, let's say, a 16 lands on Rick Miller's card, well, if Daryl Knowles has the advantage, you see that 16 on Rick Miller's card, where well, you're allowed to add 50 to it and make it a 66. And on Daryl Knowles' card, it goes from a base on balls to a strikeout. See how that worked? 63 to 76 on Daryl Knowles is a strikeout. And that's a huge advantage for the pitcher in this case. This would be the splits advantage for a lefty versus a lefty specialist. All the circle means on a batter is that he's a specialist and he shouldn't be hitting against someone who throws from the left side on the mound. Okay, now this split system is primarily made for lefty on lefty. Why? Because in baseball, the real effect of any split situation or any platoon situation is lefty on lefty. When a lefty pitcher faces a lefty batter, that's the biggest advantage uh, for the pitcher. Okay, so no other advantage is as big as that one. Uh, and, the, and this is just the data. It's not me saying it. I don't, you know, I don't keep data, but I, I've seen the data and the data shows that a lefty versus a lefty, the advantage big time goes to the pitcher. All right, so uh, let's give you another quick example. Um, let's say you roll a, a 15 on Rick Miller's card. Well, if the pitcher has the advantage, which he does in this situation, and this situation probably wouldn't happen in a baseball game unless you ran out of pinch hitters or... Uh, for example, there was injuries during the game. Rick Miller wouldn't normally start against Daryl Knowles because Rick Miller does not hit well against lefties. So let's say you roll a 15 on Rick Miller's card. Now you can add 50 points and that would make it a 65 on Daryl Knowles' card and it goes from a single plus to a strikeout. And that's how the splits work. Now in reverse, the splits wor work in reverse. Right? Just let's say... Uh, Rick Miller were a righty hitter, okay, and you roll a 65 on the pitcher. Well, if Rick, if, if Dal Knowles is, is fatigued, then the 65 goes minus 50, becomes a 15, and it goes from a strikeout on Knowles' card to a 15 on Rick Miller's card, which is a single. So that's if Rick Miller were a righty. Obviously, he isn't, but I'm just giving you a hypothetical. So it works in the opposite way as well. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and this is the splits for deep drive baseball. Thanks for watching.